Goddess of the Goddess plus live exam for public officials plus rectifying the entertainment industry plus enmity and resentment of rich families after being kicked out of the wealthy family, fake Qian Jin was forced to pick up feces and feces, but unexpectedly became famous for stirring pigs. The film and television company forced her to accompany her to sleep and drink, and the female protagonist, who was studying as a goddess, landed the civil service exam in order to break free from the constraints of the contract. Underlying Rules Snow Storage Pay a sky-high penalty for breach of contract Not Existing From the moment Shen Qin was admitted as a civil servant, the contract was nothing but empty paper. After landing, Shen Qin became an entertainment discipline inspector and began to rectify the entertainment industry. At the moment she raided the entertainment industry, everyone who had bullied, humiliated, and cursed her panicked. What? Is entertainment industry capital joining forces to exert pressure? Lu Yi. I see who dares to suppress my wife. Oh my goodness. Lu Xiao, in order to pursue his wife, actually reported his own company and gave the female lead a bonus. After the female lead was promoted, the entertainment industry capital was dumbfounded. Run. That woman has been killed again. Chapter 1. Exiting the Chiao Family. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Shen Qing, you're really shameless. If I were you, I would have been ashamed and committed suicide long ago. At Chiaodun Manor, Shen Qing fainted and fell to the ground. A man stepped on her fingers and repeatedly crushed her. The man's expression was fierce and sinister, wishing to crush her into the soil. His, the burning pain at his fingertips woke Shen Qing up. She only then realized that she had been stepped on by someone, and a group of gloating onlookers were gathered around her. She remembered. These people are here to defend Xiao Yuha against injustice. Last week, the truth about the Xiao family's true and false heirloom scandal came to light. Originally, twenty years ago, the nanny of the Xiao family swapped her daughter with a true daughter. Zhen Qianjin, who has been wandering outside and suffering greatly, enjoys prosperity and prosperity while Shen Qingjiu occupies the magpie's nest. Now that her background has been exposed, everyone is complaining for Xiao Yuha, while she has become a street mouse and everyone is shouting and beating. Shen Qing shook her head, feeling that the world was really ridiculous to believe such a clumsy lie. Rich people are not fools, how could they be fooled around by a nanny? These days, she has already investigated the truth of the matter. Turns out, all of this was caused by that vampire foster parents. The Chiao family, Mr. Chiao has many children, and it was never his nephew Chiao Feng's turn to inherit the inheritance. But the old man suffers from chronic aplastic anemia and needs long-term blood transfusion to maintain his life. The old man is a rare Rh-negative blood, and every time he searches for a matching blood source, it takes a lot of effort. After learning that she was of the same blood type as the old man, Xiao Feng and his wife used their hospital connections to transfer her to be raised as their own daughter. She started giving blood transfusions to the old man at the age of five, and this transfusion lasted for over a decade. Due to the blood transfusion, Grandpa Xiao felt both pity and guilt towards her, so he regarded his nephew's family as if he had left. By sucking her blood, Xiao Feng and his wife gained many benefits, and in the end, they even received a majority stake in Xiao Group. And for so many years, Xiao Feng and his wife have actually been secretly supporting Xiao Yuha, who is even better off than her. Last week, when the old lady passed away, Xiao Feng and his wife immediately kicked her away and recognized their own daughter. Shen Qing, why are you still staying at the Chiao family? Are you shameless or not? The man saw Shen Qing remain silent and reached out to pinch her chin tightly. This person is a collateral member of the Chiao family. He usually flatters Shen Qing when he rushes up. Now that Shen Qing's wall is falling and everyone is pushing him, he also steps on it. Shen Qing raised her head, her beautiful eyebrows and eyes cold and irritable. It's them who don't want to be embarrassed, not me. 
you stinky bitch with white eyes, you took advantage of everything and insulted the Chiao family. As the licking dog of the Chiao family, the man raised his hand and slapped Shen Qing in the face. But Shen Qing's reaction was quick. Her eyes were cold, she dodged on her side, and suddenly bumped into the man. The man was unexpectedly knocked down to the ground, and Shen Qing knelt down and pressed his arms, then picked up the trash can and placed it on his mouth. Your mouth smells so bad, eat some trash and wash your mouth. After speaking, Shen Qing turned his head to look at the crowd, and a cold light burst out in his eyes. Listen to me, it was Chiao Feng and his wife who deliberately picked up the wrong child and raised me as an old man's blood bank. They exchanged my blood for the Chiao family's property, and they are the ruthless demons who suck on the bone and marrow. After speaking, Shen Qing rolled up her sleeves and exposed a row of blue needle holes on her arm. Everyone was shocked. What? Is there a reversal? Surprisingly, it was Chiao Feng and his wife who transferred the child. Before everyone could come to their senses, Chiao Feng and his wife hurriedly arrived with their bodyguards. Father Chiao furrowed his eyebrows and said, You child, if you don't want to compensate for that 70 million yuan, why are you still spreading rumors and causing trouble in public? Don't believe it, there's nothing else. There's no parents who don't take care of their own daughter and take care of someone else's daughter. Xiao's mother took out a list and looked at Shen Qing kindly, Qing Qing, this bill of 70 million yuan is your expenses for the past 20 years, but we don't plan to ask for it anymore. After all, we have been raising you for so many years and have some feelings for you. Xiao's mother had a noble temperament, gentle eyebrows and eyes. When she looked at Shen Qing, her eyes were full of love. Shen Qing glanced at her and said, Hee hee, with a bodhisattva face and a heart full of snakes and scorpions, you were the first one to propose a switch. Chiao's mother turned pale and immediately put on a tearful expression. Ching Ching, how could you say that? The one I love the most is you. I give you millions of pocket money every month. Shen Qing's eyes were tinged with blood and said, laugh to death, I am just a pawn for you to seize your family property. Are you willing to spend 70 million yuan on me? All my expenses are paid by the old master. Xiao Feng and his wife were afraid that Shen Qin would continue talking, so they quickly ordered their bodyguards to pull her away. Qing Qing, the car that picked you up has arrived, and your grandmother is still waiting for you to go back to the countryside. A discerning person could tell at a glance that there was something fishy about it, but due to the power of the Chiao Feng couple, they chose to remain silent. Shen Qing did not resist either. She knew it was useless to say anything now. As he passed by Chiao Feng and his wife, Shen Qing smiled lightly and said, The master has told me that what he stole or deceived will eventually be returned. Chiao Feng and his wife were taken aback by the words, feeling a bit guilty and afraid to look into her eyes. I don't understand what you're saying. They said, it's okay, you'll understand in the future, Shen Qing said with a curved mouth and a mocking expression the car started, and the scenery outside the window began to crazily regress. Shen Qing turned around to take a look at the familiar Jotan Manor, then closed his eyes. Xiao Qing, are you leaving like this? Don't you hate them? The driver wearing sunglasses in front suddenly spoke up, his voice deep and steady, giving a very sense of security. Hate it, why not hate it? Shen Qing sneered, with a fierce expression in her eyes. She raised her hand and threw a box in the front seat. Upon seeing the box, the driver's gaze paused, his hand gripping the steering wheel trembling slightly. Xiao Qing, thank you. Shen Qing turned her head and looked out the window, don't call me Xiao Qing anymore. My surname is Shen Nao. The box contains the official seal of Chiao Group. Without the seal, Chiao Feng and his wife would not be able to successfully take over the group. Shen Qing's lips showed a retaliatory smile, and they were too happy too early. The Chiao family's property dispute had just begun. Chiao Tianan, you're so hardworking. Don't leave any bricks or tiles behind for them. Chiao Tianan held the steering wheel and remained silent for a moment. Actually, 
you should have your share of the family's wealth. The old man is all ready. Shen Qing shook her head and interrupted him, you guys are all in a fierce battle. If an outsider intervenes, the Chiao family will have to unite to deal with me first. I don't have any shelter now. I don't know how many people in Hangzhou want me to die, but I don't want to cause any more trouble. Upon hearing these words, Xiao Tianan laughed and said, Yes, you should change your easily offending nature in the future. Buzz. Buzz. Shen Qing's phone rang, and on the other end of the phone was her agent Yang Kan. Shen Qing, the investor of the TV series, First Love Lover replaced you, but you still have some traffic, so the company has taken on a live streaming project for you. This program is going to live stream your life after returning to the village. You have to scoop pig manure and pick big feces every day after listening, Shen Qing frowned, suspecting that this variety show was intentionally pranking her. Miss Chiao, who used to call for wind and rain in Hangzhou, now wants to go to the pigsty to shovel feces. Chapter 2 She wants to take the civil service exam. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Sorry, I refuse. Shen Qing refused the request from Agent Yang Kong with a cold and stern attitude. Yang Kong immediately cursed, Shen Qing, you are no longer a Miss Qianjin. Not to mention that you were asked to live stream, even if you were asked to take off and shoot a third level film, you cannot say a word of no. The company has already signed this live streaming project for you. If you refuse, then wait for the sky high penalty to be paid. Shen Qing lowered her eyes, her long eyelashes covering her, and her eyes cast a dark gray shadow. She knew that the entertainment industry has always been high and low, but she didn't expect the backlash to be so rapid. Someone must be playing tricks behind this. Shen Qing checked the list of investors for that program, and most of the people on the list had formed enemies with her. Good guy, it was really aimed at her. This is a joke to make the whole country see her the wealthy and wealthy have fallen to the pigsty to shovel feces, which sounds very explosive. Hee <laughs> hee, whenever her psychological resilience is poor, she would be so embarrassed and angry that she would jump into the river. Oh, and also, Xiao Yu has returned to the wealthy life will be broadcasted. These people are quite skilled at killing and killing. Shen Qing was lost in thought. As of now, the previous program was not a big deal. She actually didn't have much psychological burden. But the contract she signed with the company before was a hassle. Now that she has lost the protection of capital, the company can arrange for her no matter what. With a contract in place, she can only be manipulated like a marionette. The company is forcing her to participate in variety shows this time, and next time I don't know what to force her to do. She must find a way to terminate the contract. It is definitely not possible to follow the formal termination process. According to the formal termination process, she needs to pay a termination fee of up to 1100 W. But Jiayi Media's signing contract perfectly exploited legal loopholes, and even if she went to court, she could only obediently pay the termination fee. After searching, Shen Qing found that she only had one path left in the end. That's taking the civil service exam. Because Longxia has a regulation that if a citizen passes the national civil service examination, any labor contract she signs with any unit will be directly invalidated. Shen Qing bit her nails, but she majored in art and had no advantage in taking the civil service exam. Moreover, there are very few positions corresponding to taking the civil service exam for the art major. Shen Qing frowned. Is the difficult road blocked like this? No, since art students don't have an advantage in taking the civil service exam, wouldn't it be better for them to take another major? Speaking of taking the civil service exam, the law major has a strong advantage in taking the civil service exam, and there are also many corresponding positions. The most important thing is that law is a purely liberal arts subject that requires much more rote memorization. Coincidentally, she has an unforgettable brain. Hangzhou, the top floor of the sea and sky feast. Several wealthy second-generation young masters are raising their glasses and drinking freely. 
Ha ha ha, Lu Xiao is still smart. Now everyone in the country can see her downfall. I didn't expect Jia E Media to sign the program so easily. It seems they also want to squeeze Xiao Qing out. Humph, I finally got the chance to retaliate against her. How many good things has she done to our brothers over the years? No one's covering her now, I'm going to fuck her to death. In Hangzhou, Shen Qing has the title of Rich Second Generation Discipline Inspection Commission. She is both domineering and meddlesome. He once sent several wealthy second-generation people who bullied men and women to the bureau. Because she has the support of Mr. Chiao behind her, no one dares to provoke her. Now that Grandpa Chiao dies, many people want to kill her. The young master led by Lu Yi is the one who created this variety show live broadcast. He and Shen Qing have been sworn enemies for many years, and they have been resentful towards each other for a long time. Lu Yi leaned his feet on the table, his mouth slightly raised, and he felt an indescribable obedience. He shook his glass, his eyes deep and hazy, and his behavior casual. Come on. Let's celebrate the premiere of The Return of True and False Daughters in advance. The flowers bloom at two ends, each showing a branch. Shen Qing has already left Hangzhou by car. Her biological parents passed away in a car accident ten years ago, and now there is only one grandmother left at home. Shen Qing felt uneasy in her heart, not knowing how to face this family member she had never met before. Xiao Tianan, what should I say when I see my grandmother? Will a granddaughter suddenly jump out and scare her? Shen Qing was very nervous and somewhat at a loss. Xiao Tianan also saw Shen Qinglu, who was fearless for the first time, show this appearance. He smiled and comforted, don't be nervous, I have already contacted your grandmother. She is a very interesting person. Shuiwa village is nestled in a mountain ditch, with fiery phoenix flowers everywhere on the mountain, and a large golden rice field at the foot of the mountain. When the mountain wind blows, the rice waves roll. Amidst the roar of the tractor, Shen Qing saw his grandmother for the first time. The old lady was wearing floral short sleeves, holding a cigarette in her mouth, driving a tractor, and looking very cool with one hand holding the handle. The old lady with gray hair drove the tractor for over a hundred kilometers, still spirited. Shen Qing was stunned. It was the first time she had seen such a cool old lady. Xiao Tianan shook his head and chuckled lightly, you are indeed a family. Shen Qing is riding a tractor for the first time, and she thinks this thing is quite novel, but it feels nauseous after sitting for a long time. The old lady is very good at chatting. She didn't ask any questions or mention the Chiao family all the way, just happily chatting about interesting things about the mountains and fields, as well as crops. Shen Qing is like a granddaughter who hasn't returned for many years, listening to her long-lost grandmother chattering. For this old lady whom he had never met before, after just a few words of conversation, Shen Qing became intimate from the bottom of his heart. She felt that perhaps this was the feeling of family. By the way, Grandma, do you have a computer at home? I need to register for an exam. Taking advantage of the old lady's smoking gap, Shen Qing interjected. She has already made up her mind that she will apply to the University of Political Science. Zhengda is one of the top law schools in Hangzhou, with extremely high difficulty in self-study. But it has a rule that students who are admitted to National Chengchi University through self.study can apply for a degree certificate within a week. To apply for civil service, one must first obtain a degree certificate. In order to catch up with the civil service exam three months later, she had to choose to apply to National Chengchi University. Shen Qing lowered her eyes, as long as she successfully landed, the contract would be a dead letter. No one wants to hold on to her. Time passed by rapidly, and without realizing it, Shen Qing had been home for a month. She is now able to drive a tractor through the mountains and fields, with a one-handed grip that exudes an indescribable aura. On that day, she drove a tractor to the town to pick up a package, and on the way back, she met a group of people. This group of people carried cameras and tripods, 
walking deep and shallow in the mud. Shen Qin pondered, is this the program team entering the village? In the crowd, Han, the leader of the group, cursed and said, Grandma, being assigned to the countryside is really unlucky for eight lifetimes. What's good about taking pictures of the fake phoenix in this chicken coop? Tisk, it's hard to predict how arrogant Shen Qin used to be, but now he has to pick up feces. The host rubbed his chin and said. But what if Shen Qin refuses to cooperate? Han Dao sneered and said, Humph, if you dare not listen, I'll fuck her. Chapter 3 Pig Pens Shoveling Feces You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. This statement happened to make Shen Qin hear it clearly. Due to her wearing a straw hat and sunglasses, no one recognized her. Han Dao looked at a tractor coming next to him and suddenly called out to Shen Qin, pointing at her and saying, You, stop the car for me. Hello, our production team is here to shoot in the village. Could you please transport us the tripod and luggage? Han Dao's nose was in the air. He felt that rural people were ignorant and would definitely be honored to help. Shen Qin lifted his eyelids and drove the tractor over, splashing mud on the ground. Director Han looked at the mud dots on his clothes and angrily cursed, Damn it, rural people are barbarians. Upon hearing this, Shen Qin's lips curved into a smile. Then he turned around and gestured towards him with his middle finger, soaring away. Han's face turned green with anger and he said, Shit. At noon, the production team entered the village, and the old village chief showed great enthusiasm, arranging accommodation and treating guests. But Shen Qing didn't pay any attention to them, she just wanted to read books now. Self-study law requires studying 15 courses, and taking the civil service exam also requires a lot of practice questions. She must complete all courses within three months and prepare for the civil service exam. Even if she can remember everything, the pressure of taking the civil service exam within three months is still a bit high. The main issue is that there is not enough time, and the live broadcast is very delaying her learning. Shen Qing frowned, she had to find a way to hold on to the initiative. Buzz. Buzz. Shen Qing's phone screen suddenly lit up and she saw several topic push notifications. Hashtag a false golden dove occupying a magpie's nest receives retribution, a fallen phoenix is not as good as a chicken hashtag hashtag Chiao Yuha tells the tragic life after being transferred hashtag hashtag white-eyed wolf Shen Qin vampires the Chiao family for 700,000 yuan and refuses any compensation hashtag good guy, the Chiao family, in order to gain sympathy, even described Chiao Yuha's days of exile as very tragic, saying that she worked five jobs a day to support her family and even sold blood to make money when she had to. Moreover, the Chiao family also posted the bill of 70,000 yuan. So she was scolded by netizens to the point of being completely exhausted. Thief Shen Qing, you stole someone else's life. Please leave the circle and apologize. Shen Qing, if you still have conscience, please repay the Chiao family 70,000 yuan. Xiao Yu have suffered so much from you, you deserve to be punished. Evil bamboo sprouts weak bamboo shoots, Shen Qing's character must also be problematic, he has lost his fans. Shen Qing sneered, he he, Xiao Feng and his wife are really skilled at reversing black and white. Xiao Yu Ha was sponsored by them to study abroad at the age of 12. He has a car and a house abroad, and his life is not sure how comfortable it is. After she was carried to Chiao's house, the Chiao phone couple didn't care about her at all, and she was often scolded and insulted. Shen Qing was a bit puzzled. How could Chiao Feng and his wife still have the leisure to jump up and down the internet? Don't they know that their official seal is gone? Thinking of this, Shen Qing called Chiao Tianan. Hello, brother Chiao, how are you doing on your end? Have you gained control of the group? Xiao Tianan said, I have already acquired 40% of the group's shares, and I still have 10% left to reclaim the group. Uncle Feng knows that you have caused a stumbling block and may retaliate against you. You need to be careful. Shen Qin was dumbfounded, no wonder she was cyberbullied. 
Unfortunately, the deterrent effect of cyberbullying on her is almost zero. She never punishes herself with other people's comments. By the way, Brother Chiao, could you do me a favor? Before I left, I found evidence of Chiao Feng and his wife swapping children, which was hidden in the garden fountain. I couldn't take it with me at that time. Can you help me take it out? Although she doesn't care about those rumors and gossip, splashing dirty water on her head is impossible. She wants to ruin the reputation of that bone-sucking couple. On the internet, due to the gimmicks of genuine and fake money, the program has attracted a lot of viewers before it even starts broadcasting. There are those who gloat and watch jokes, as well as those who fall into trouble. Shen Qin used to be quite domineering, I really want to see what kind of downfall she has become why hasn't fake Qian Jin come out yet. She doesn't have the face to see anyone, I must be putting on foundation make dot up. My face is crying like a monkey's ass. I must cover it up. No matter how thick the makeup of a common woman's fake daughter is, it cannot cover her ugly face, sigh, there's a picture, there's a picture. Amidst a chorus of mockery, Shen Qin began broadcasting. In the picture, Shen Qin is standing in a low pigsty with a shovel on his shoulder, wearing a poor purple Donald Duck nightdress and a pair of old dot fashioned yellow rubber rain boots on his feet. Her loose hair was fixed behind her head with a pencil, and her face was white and quiet, without any makeup. Shen Qin, who had been washed away with lead, had a plain face facing the sky, with picturesque eyebrows and eyes, and her skin was so tender that it could almost squeeze out water. Looking at the delicate face in the camera, everyone coincidentally blurted out. Lying trough. Without natural embellishments, can a pigsty create a beautiful woman? Grass. Is this really that fake daughter? She looks so beautiful without makeup. She didn't actually put on makeup. She can't be fake bare-faced, can she? Has anyone identified it? Hee <laughs> hee, this rag looks pretty good on her, but she can only wear rags. Hong Zhen, I like her beauty, but her character is too bad to be popular. Then, in full view of the public, Shen Qin put one hand on the cement fence, pushed his feet hard, and carried a shovel over the fence easily. There are many newborn piglets in the pigsty, pink and chubby, looking very cute. However, there were piles of yellow-green pig manure piled up in the corners of the pigsty, some solidified and stuck to the ground, while others were still steaming hot. It looks very appetizing. Help. I'm eating. You, oh my god, it's so disgusting. What is she doing? Scraping pig feces. The wealthy and wealthy families of the past never imagined that they would fall into a pigsty and shovel feces, what a pity, if it were me, I wouldn't be able to accept this kind of gap. Why sympathize with her? She has enjoyed twenty years of glory and wealth, but we haven't enjoyed it for a day. The live broadcast room was filled with booze, some gloating, some lamenting the impermanence of the world, some sympathizing, and some feeling that it was not enough to relieve their anger. Shen Qing ignored it. What she wanted was to quickly scoop up pig droppings and then read a book to solve the problems. Now her heart is focused on learning, and as for the opinions of others, she doesn't care at all. If you want to shoot her defecating, just shoot her. If the audience wants to see her, just watch her. Labor is the most honorable. After Shen Qing flipped into the pigsty, several mischievous little pigs immediately ran over to nibble on her rain boots. Shen Qing beats the piglet away with a shovel, and starts to shovel the shit with a shovel. She has caught a cold these past few days, so she can't smell anything. The pig excrement in front of her was like a pile of mud in her eyes. But the camera guy next to him has been so smoked that his eyes have turned white, he almost lost his breath. Han Dao looked at Shen Qing's cooperation and rubbed his chin with satisfaction. The once unattainable Miss Chiao is now obedient to him. This made him very proud in his heart. In the pigsty, Shen Qing bent over and worked hard, occasionally raising his hand to wipe sweat. As she raised her hand, the Titan dress outlined a round chest shape. Upon seeing this scene, 
Director Han's gaze fixed on Shen Qing. Oh, it's quite informative. Han Dao squinted his eyes. This little girl is probably still a chick. Before, because she was sheltered by the Chiao family, no one dared to think of her. But now he he thinking about it, Director Han's gaze became increasingly obscene. The camera guy next to him mistakenly thought that Han was looking at the pigs but due to angle issues. He thought to himself, Mom, why is Han Dao's taste so strong? Surprisingly, he stared at the pigs but in a daze. Due to the shocked gaze of the cameraman, Director Han turned his head and noticed something unusual about him. What, you also want to deal with her? Han Dao gave a lewd smile, thinking that the cameraman Zhang Wei had also taken a liking to Shen Qing. After listening, Zhang Wei was very shocked in his heart. Help! Han Dao can't you not even let the pig go? Then, Han gave Zhang Wei a lewd look and said, At night, are we together? Chapter 4 Dare to Bully My Granddaughter You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Zhang Wei was shocked in his heart and said, Dot. Han Dao is so perverted. He shook his head wildly and said, I have no blessings to enjoy. No blessings to enjoy. After shoveling two large buckets of pig manure, Shen Qing finally cleared the pigsty. Then she unscrewed the water pipe, washed the rain boots and shovel, and then carried two buckets of pig excrement into the vegetable garden to make compost. After pouring pig manure, she picked up a kitchen knife and chopped a pile of corn and pig grass with a clattering sound, pouring them into the pigsty. Shen Qing's expression was focused, his movements were very agile, and his pretty face turned red from labor. It has to be said that watching her do farm work gives her a delightful beauty. Unconsciously, the audience watched from morning until afternoon. The sunset set in the west, and the afterglow dyed Shen Qing's cheeks red. She raised her wrist and looked at her watch, only to find that it was now 4 p.m., and she had been broadcasting continuously for eight hours. Shen Qing felt a bit tired at this moment. She hammered her back and sat on the wicker chair in the yard, then began to practice the questions. The courtyard is lush with vegetation, insects chirping in waves, and a gentle breeze blows. Dandelions, stained with the sunset, scatter all over the ground. The peaceful scenery of these years makes the live broadcast room no longer noisy, and everyone holds their breath and immerses themselves in this picturesque scene. A light wind blew by, lifting a corner of the book page, and netizens just saw the content on it clearly. It's so exciting, Shen Qing is actually scrolling through the business test paper. She's preparing for the civil service exam. Isn't it? Look, there's still a civil code on the table. Good guy, who would read the legal code for the sake of taking the civil service exam. The legal knowledge in the test relies on practicing questions. I'm laughing to death. Others who set up academic elites are all taking postgraduate entrance exams or something. What about Shen Qingju taking the civil service exam? As for the hard concave character design, job testing doesn't even need to look at the legal code. No one really thinks that Shen Qing is preparing for the civil service exam, they all think that she is pretending and establishing her character. Shen Qing read the code of law because she also had to take a self-study of the legal textbook. She just learned the legal knowledge that needed to be tested by passing the exam. She not only needs to take the civil service exam but also the law exam, but now she is too lazy to explain. Not long after Shen Qing read the book, Han Dao's roar came from his earphones. Shen Qing. Who told you to read? After resting, hurry up and work. Upon hearing this, Shen Qing's coldness condensed into broken ice in her eyes. She hated being disturbed in her studies. She turned her head to look at Director Han and retorted, It was agreed before the broadcast that as long as I finish shoveling pig manure, I can do whatever I want. Han Dao was scolded and felt very embarrassed. He immediately cursed, Damn it, you finished shoveling pig manure from your own house. You won't go shoveling someone else's. Shen Qing tugged at the corner of his mouth, 
don't be too obvious about intentionally manipulating others, okay? If it were done by other artists, she might have endured it, but she doesn't. She doesn't want to mess around anymore, let alone become popular. So she ignored the fact that she was still live streaming and directly retorted, according to China's labor law, workers are not allowed to work more than eight hours a day. If forced to work overtime, workers have the right to refuse. I'm sorry, Shen Qing threw his sweatshirt over his shoulder. It's time, we're off work. Then, she picked up the book and gracefully walked out of the camera. Everyone present was stunned, my goodness. This is a live broadcast. She she how dare she. Han Dao's eyes twitched with anger. He had been in the entertainment industry for so many years and had never encountered an artist smashing his own stage. This is a live broadcast. Is she crazy? The audience in the live broadcast room has also started a melon-eating mode. Ah. What's wrong with this? Who is Shin Qing fighting against? Are you stupid? By that, it must be the production team who asked her to continue working. Che, the fake daughter is really pretentious. Can't bear doing such a little work. That's right, Xiao Yuha has been doing farm work for her for over a decade. There are a bunch of people upstairs who talk cold words. Doing farm work can be tiring. I think you are the Mississippi. What's wrong with leaving work on time? Shen Qing is a role model for us the host quickly ran to the camera and bowed, smiling as if nothing had happened, and said calmly. That's all for today's live broadcast. Thank you all for watching. We'll be together tomorrow at the same time. As soon as the host finished speaking, Director Han cut off the live broadcast with a black face. Shen Qing, what's your attitude? Do you have any professional ethics? Do you still want to get involved in the entertainment industry? Han Dao kicked over the wooden stool with a loud bang and angrily called out to Shen Qing. Upon hearing the questioning, Shen Qing stopped and retorted, You don't even speak the law, do you have the face to talk to me about morality? Han Dao choked and raised his hand to slap Shen Qing, saying, You've turned the tables. He didn't expect Shen Qing to fall into this field and dare to challenge him. He raised his hand and slapped him over. Sai, boss, don't do this. Zhang Wei grabbed director Han and said, isn't that good? It's at her house. Han's eyes widened wide and he said, what are you afraid of? She hasn't been here long, who will support her? A disobedient little artist, I can't even fight. Han Dao pushed Zhang Wei away and swung his palm fan toward Shen Qing. Shen Qing dodged on his side and deftly turned behind Han Dao, kicking him in the leg socket. This kick was both accurate and harsh. Oh my! Han Dao was kicked and knelt down on both knees. He got up and became angry with embarrassment. He picked up a tripod and threw it at Shen Qing's head, looking like he was about to kill someone. At this moment, bang! A gunshot exploded in the yard. Immediately, a strong and pungent smell of gunpowder swept through the entire courtyard. Everyone was stunned like a chicken. Director Han turned his head and was frightened to the death. I saw Grandma Shen Qing holding a hunting gun at him, with a black muzzle emitting a wisp of white smoke. Lying trough. Guns. How could there be a gun? Han was stunned, everyone was stunned, and Shen Qing was also stunned. Her gaze towards the old lady was full of disbelief. The old lady held a cigarette in her mouth and sprayed smoke on Han's face, dragging it to the edge. If you want to bully my granddaughter, first ask if the gun in my hand agrees, she said Han Dao was pointed at his head with a gun, trembling in almost with his pants. He couldn't figure out why an old lady could have a gun in her hand. Originally, Grandma Shen Qing was a forest ranger in the mountains, and there were often fierce beasts in the local forests, so the rangers were allowed to carry hunting guns. Grandma Shen Qing even fought against the militia father when she was a child, and her marksmanship was top-dot-notch in the village. The villagers also heard the gunshot, 
picked up their hose, and ran toward Shen Qing's house, thinking that the blind bear had come down the mountain again. When they ran into the yard, the villagers saw the old lady pointing a gun at Han Dao. Madam, what's going on? The villagers were very surprised. The old lady took a puff of her cigarette ring, gathered her murderous aura in her eyes, and pointed at Han Dao's nose, saying, he hit my granddaughter. Shuiwa village is small, and the villagers are all related. When they heard someone bullying Shen Qing, their fists became hard. The villagers pointed at Han Dao's nose and cursed, they all say that the people in the city have high cultural quality. Why do you bully the little girl? I'm sorry. The dolls in our village are all baby bumps. If you dare to bully her again, I will kill you with a hoe. Han Dao couldn't have imagined that the slapping would come so quickly. He quickly apologized with a smile and explained, Oh my, there was a misunderstanding. It was my grandmother who misunderstood. We didn't hit anyone, we were rehearsing the program. Upon hearing Han Dao's words, Shen Qing furrowed her brows and said, Wow, don't you think she has a long mouth? Chapter 5 What Little Pig Did Wrong you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Shen Qing looked directly at Han Dao and said, Dare to hit someone but dare not admit it. Are you treating me as silent or the villagers as fools? Upon hearing this, the villagers immediately understood that grabbing onto Director Han's collar was like beating him up. A big man slapped Han Dao and said, Don't try to fool us. Be honest with us in the future and don't bully my cousin's niece. Han realized that the villagers here were all relatives and extremely protective. After tidying up Director Han, Shen Qing returned to the room to read a book, but she still didn't know that the black manuscripts about her online were flying everywhere. Hashtag fake Qianjin, such a great official. Publicly boycotting broadcasting and hating others hashtag hashtag shocked. A destitute phoenix is better than a chicken, and Shen Qing is shoveling feces in a pigsty hashtag hashtag Shen Qing's image as a hard concave academic bully, facing a car crash and a slap in the face hashtag on the internet, articles smearing Shen Qing are flying everywhere. Hangcheng, a certain self-media studio. A network editor-in-chief is making a phone call with a smiling face. Mr. Liu, as per your instructions, the entire manuscript has been sent out, and the whole country has seen Shen Qing's ugly behavior of shoveling feces. Ha ha ha, to be honest with you, I have long been displeased with her. However, if you want to retaliate against her, Lu Xiao, why bother with all this trouble? As long as you are willing, whether it's sealing or hiding, it's a matter of one sentence on the other end of the phone, Lu Yi didn't answer the conversation, just nodded in satisfaction and said, you did a good job, keep going. Hanging up the phone, Lu Yi began to admire Shen Qing's heroic performance in defecating, thinking that she would be mocked by the whole internet later, and the corners of her mouth couldn't help but rise. Unfortunately, things did not develop as he had anticipated, but rather in a strange direction. After a while, Lu Yi started flipping through the comments under the draft, wanting to see what Shen Qing had been mocked into. But what surprised him was that there were very few replies under the draft. The smile at the corner of Lu Ye's mouth suddenly came to an end. Later, when he looked online, he realized that the popularity of the manuscript had been suppressed by an emoji. Originally, I don't know which talented netizen turned Shen Qing's movement of shaking a handkerchief into an emoji with the words. It's time, we're off work. In the emoji pack, Shen Qing's eyes revealed three points of unrestrained and seven points of carefree, with a very strong aura. Shen Qing's resistance against overtime has resonated with a large number of netizens. Nowadays, countless migrant workers dare not speak up about overtime, and Shen Qing's behavior is venting their anger. This emoji pack, it's not a regular emoji pack. It represents the resistance and roar of millions of hardworking workers. As soon as the Shen Qing Shaps a sweat scarf emoji was born, it quickly became a hot topic among tap water users. Lu Yi didn't expect that the focus of netizens was not on Shen Qing's downfall at all. He tugged at his tie irritably, his face full of displeasure. 
Later, he dialed Director Han's phone and said, arrange the dirtiest and tiring work for Shen Qing tomorrow, and give her a hard time. Han Dao looked bitter and very embarrassed, after all, he was just about to mess with Shen Qing and almost got shot dead. But due to Lu Ye's pressure, Han Dao had to grit his head and say, okay, Lu Xiao, I will definitely do it. Seeing director Han's expression on his face, the host walked over while chewing on peaches. He puffed his cheeks and asked, Boss, what's wrong? Han Dao snorted coldly and said, Mr. Lu asked me to repair that slut well, but she has so many people to protect her. That old lady still has a gun. How can I handle her? Oh, it's too easy to hold on to her, the host nibbled on his peach. Shen Qing has a stubborn temper, but she's in a slump now. You can give her some benefits. When she's grateful to you, it'll be easy to hold on to her. Upon hearing this, Han Dao slammed his thigh and said, I have come to understand. Later, he took out his phone and sent a message to Shen Qing, saying, Brother has a few film and television resources on hand. Tonight, I'll flip through your brand, wash my body, and come to bed as soon as possible. In Han's opinion, Shen Qing only needs to sleep with him to obtain resources, which is already a great good thing for her. Many artists are unable to access resources even after being played, but by comparison, they are already very conscientious. Not long after, he received a text message on his phone from Shen Qing. There are only two words written on it. Stupid loser. However, Director Han didn't see it because he was rummaging through his luggage looking for a certain medication, but couldn't find it despite searching around. So he called for the camera guy Zhang Wei and said, Um. You go help me get some of that thing over here. Zhang Wei was a bit confused and said, What? Tisk. Director Han gave him a disdainful glance, wondering why he didn't have any spirituality but due to face saving, he felt embarrassed to say it directly, so he gestured with his hand in the void with the word, Wei. Although Zhang Wei didn't understand the gestures, he looked at Han Dao's lewd expression and suddenly remembered Han Dao staring at the pig's buttocks in a daze during the day. So suddenly the great Wu Wu said, Oh, I understand. Subsequently, Zhang Wei, who had a quirky brain circuit, quickly ran into pig pen. In the pigsty, the little pigs are sleeping, flapping their ears from time to time, with a cute and whimpering appearance. Looking at the pink and tender piglets in the circle, Zhang Wei couldn't help but think, Director Han is really abnormal. This these are all minors. What a sin. Shen Qing, who was practicing exercises in the room, saw a figure shaking at the entrance of the pigsty through the window, which made him suspicious. How could anyone wander around the pigsty this big night? Are you here to steal pigs? Thinking of this, Shen Qing took a wooden stick, pushed open the door, and quietly followed. In the pigsty, the piglets were pink, tender, and adorable, which made Zhang Wei a little reluctant to take action. But he didn't have the courage to offend Director Han, so he had to catch two slightly larger ones. The moon was dark and the wind was high, and Zhang Wei ran back holding two piglets. Shen Qing, taking advantage of the moonlight, also saw Zhang Wei's actions clearly and muttered to himself, Why is this cameraman catching pigs? Zhang Wei ran ahead with a pig in his arms, while Shen Qing followed behind and followed him all the way to Director Han's house. It's already late at night, but Director Han's room is still lit. After instructing Zhang Wei to find medicine, Han Dao went to take a shower. So when Zhang Wei returned, he didn't see anyone, only vaguely heard the sound of water in the bathroom, so he stuffed the piglet into the blanket. Han, I'll put the things on the bed for you. Zhang Wei shouted at the bathroom and closed the door. When Shen Qing saw Zhang Wei carrying the piglet to the bed, she frowned as she lay by the window. What kind of medicine are they selling in this gourd? After Zhang Wei left, after a while, Director Han came out of the bathroom wearing a bathrobe. He looked up and saw that the quilt was bulging, thinking that Shen Qing was already lying inside. He cursed inwardly, Humph, women are really cheap. Watching the round contours inside the blanket, 
Han Dao felt an itch in his heart. He pinched his face through the blanket and said, Hmm, this butt is really round. It's so elastic. Subsequently, he quickly untied his bathrobe, lifted the blanket, and shouted loudly, Come on, my little baby. Outside the window, Shen Qing remained in place, her face full of shock. My little pig, what did it do wrong? Of course, at the same time, Director Han was also shocked. After he lifted the blanket, his hands were indeed round, pink and tender with perky buttocks. But it belongs to a pig. Click. Shen Qing raised his phone and took the opportunity to capture this highly impactful scene. In the photo, Han, who was almost completely naked, was touching the pig's pee pee to commit misconduct. Humph, humph. The little pig was awakened by Han's pinching and began to arch around on the bed, humming left and right. Han Dao's expression seemed to have been struck by lightning and began to gradually crack. After a long time, he finally realized and shouted at the ceiling, Zhang Wei. Get out of here. Chapter 6 Is on hold. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The next day, just as it was dawn, the program team was ready to start broadcasting. Zhang Wei stood at the front with a face covered in bruises, carrying a camera. Han Jidao looked at Shen Qin with a foul expression on his face. Shen Qin pretends not to know anything. She eats deep dot fried dough sticks and drinks a bowl of salty soybean milk. Shen Qin, today we're going to broadcast, you pick big feces. You go and water the vegetable field at the east end of the village. If you don't finish watering it, you won't be allowed to broadcast it. Han Dao and now hates Shen Qin extremely. This slut knows nothing about heaven and earth. Last night, he not only stood him up, but also scolded him for being foolish. Today, he is going to give this slut some color to see. But in the face of Han's command, Shen Qin turned a deaf ear, as if he hadn't heard it, still burying his head in cooking. Han Dao was so angry that he cursed loudly, what's wrong? Are you deaf? Just squeak when you hear it. Shen Qin glanced up at Director Han, then slowly took out his phone and gave him a mysterious smile, come here, I'll show you a big treasure. What are you looking at? What treasure? Director Han touched his shiny bald head and curiously leaned over to take a look. With just one glance, he was frightened and his face changed from red to blue and then to purple. In the photo, he was almost naked touching the pig's buttocks, with a somewhat lewd expression. Damn it! If this photo were to be shared, he wouldn't have the face to be a human. Shen Qing. What do you want to do? Han Dao lowered his voice and squeezed out a sentence from between his teeth. If you dare to spread this photo, you're done. No. It's you who's finished, not me. Shen Qing shook her head and smiled calmly. In order to satisfy the perverted animal desires, a well-known director even raped a full moon piglet. Shen Qing smiled and said, Director Han, this is a groundbreaking news. No. No, I didn't. Han Dao blushed with anger. You. You're slandering. You're shameless. Shen Qing rolled his eyes and said, Hee hee, we've all caught the footage. Who cares about the truth behind it? The entertainment industry's traffic is king, and everyone only cares about whether gossip is enough to explode. Han Dao knew that this was right, and he angrily said, Shen Qing, you are really a criminal. You have violated my privacy like this. I can sue you. Shen Qing hooked his lips, with a hint of sarcasm in his eyes. He he, on the law. I understand better than you do. Law books are not for nothing. Director Han, according to relevant laws and regulations in China, you have committed theft and intentional damage to others' property by stealing and attempting to infringe on piglets. The photo in my hand is evidence. Director Han clenched his palm and swallowed the insulting words. Grandma's leg, it's really unbearable. For a long time, he gritted his head and said helplessly, 
you can set a price, everything is easy to discuss. Shen Qing squinted her eyes, that's good. That's all she wants. I don't want any money, but I have one requirement. I will determine the content of my future live broadcasts, and besides, you can't interfere with my studies. Upon hearing this, Director Han widened his eyes and said this is seizing power. In this way, won't his director become empty-handed? Seeing Han Dao's hesitant and indecisive expression, Shen Qing understood in his heart that he was only one step away from the door. Pop! Shen Qing patted a pen and paper onto the table and said, My patience is limited. If I agree, I will make a written statement. If I don't agree, I will talk to everyone about the abnormal pig thief. Han's face turned white and red, and he knew that this matter could never be spread. So he gritted his teeth and said, I'll sign it. Watching Director Han lay down the written evidence, Shen Qing felt very happy. Sure enough, knowledge is power. Learning methods is quite useful. By taking the initiative in live streaming, she has ample time to study. Today she plans to do nothing and just live stream reading books and practicing exercises. Due to the popularity of emojis, as soon as Shen Qing started broadcasting, many people rushed into the live broadcast room. Shen Qing still had a calm and indifferent demeanor, reading books and answering questions with great concentration. Netizens immediately entered mockery mode when they saw Shen Qing reading a book. What about the character of the concave academic bully? Hurry up and get some work done. It's quite interesting to see you working. Shen Qing, don't you choose to read just to avoid doing farm work, no, what are you pretending to be? Can you understand? Hey, I'll stay in the live broadcast room and see when you can install it. Lu Yi was very unhappy to see Shen Qing leisurely answering questions in the live broadcast room and wanted to curse. Subsequently, he dialed Han's phone and frantically output. When your mother gave birth to you, did she throw you away and raise the placenta? I asked you to arrange the dirtiest and tiring work for Shen Qing, but you arranged for her to read. Are you unable to understand human language or have a bad brain? Han Dao received a scolding and nodded repeatedly, but turned around to look at Shen Qing but hesitated to speak. He tried several times to come forward and arrange for Shen Qing to work, but his heart was furrowed by Shen Qing's half smiling eyes. Han Dao was both angry and frustrated, feeling helpless. In the end, he could only fly away in anger. Time slowly slipped through my fingers and in the blink of an eye, it was noon. Shen Qing rubbed his sore eyes and then glanced up to find that the number of online viewers in the live broadcast room had reached 500,000. She didn't understand why there was such a high popularity for live reading. In fact, everyone wanted to see when she could fit in, so they spent time with her in the live broadcast room. When Shen Qing was reading a book and practicing exercises, the audience stared wide, trying to find a flaw in her expression. But four hours later, Shen Qing remained serious, focused, and immersed. There is no trace of fatigue or impatience on the face. The audience in the live broadcast room couldn't hold their breath. It's been four hours now, Shen Qing can really pretend, I don't think she's pretending. I'm also preparing for the civil service exam, and I'm doing the same on real exam papers. It's strange, why does she still think about studying books? Scholars should not inquire about their affairs. What do they like to see and what do they care about? If Shen Qing gets into the civil service exam, then we will be colleagues haha what are you joking about internationally? If Shen Qing can pass the exam, I will perform upside down defecation Shen Qing glanced up and happened to see the last barrage. Her eyes lit up and she suddenly thought of something. Then she turned on the microphone on the spot and named the netizen, this friend named Lao Shui, if I pass the exam, I hope you can fulfill your promise. Unexpectedly, netizen Lao Shui was also a prominent figure. After being named by Shen Qing, he immediately shouted, if you don't pass the exam, then you will announce your withdrawal from the circle and never make a comeback. The other viewers in the live broadcast felt that the bet was a bit high. If Shen Qing is okay in the exam, 
then if she doesn't, she won't even have a last resort. But Shen Qing smiled lightly and said, it's a deal. If I don't pass the exam in three months, I'll announce my withdrawal from the circle and never make a comeback. If I pass, remember to perform upside down and poop. As soon as this statement was made, netizens in the live broadcast room were boiling. I saved it. There's a video as evidence, no one will be fooling around then. Exciting. I want to watch the handsome guy stand upside down and defecate. Shen Qing, come on. Shen Qing, I will go and help you with farm work tomorrow. Please study hard for me, Shen Qing, you keep your promises and quit the circle if you don't pass the exam. Otherwise, our netizens won't agree. Yes. Shen Qing, as a public figure, if you go against the rules, we will boycott you all over the internet. Shen Qing looked at the barrage of bullets, and a satisfied smile appeared on his face. She actually wanted to quit the entertainment industry a long time ago, and now she has no capital behind her. Continuing to stay in the entertainment industry will only be at the mercy of others. If it weren't for the inability to terminate the contract, she would have dropped out long ago. Actually, today she made a deep bet with netizens. Betting has no legal effect. In case she doesn't pass the exam, the company can still arrange for her to participate in the program while holding on to the contract. But if she suffers from a nationwide boycott and the company is under online pressure, she should not be scheduled to appear on the show in the short term, so she can use this time to prepare again. This wave can advance, attack, retreat, and defend. No matter what, it seems like she wins. Chapter 7 Unpublished Wills You are listening at NovelFull.audio Due to gambling, netizens began to change their attitude towards Shen Qing and encouraged her to learn. Some even thoughtfully recommended lectures by renowned teachers and real exam papers. Most netizens like to have fun, and rather than letting Shen Qing withdraw from the circle, they prefer to see the handsome old man standing upside down and defecating. Many people are still discussing their experience of taking the civil service exam in the live broadcast room. I have been successful in the civil service exam for 10 years, and I recommend watching Conan exercise my logical reasoning skills, save it upstairs, even after 10 years of taking the exam, you dare to speak up. After taking the civil service exam for one year, it is recommended to use mind maps to review knowledge points Shen Qing, you need to read more news and daily reports, and the exam questions will keep up with current events, help. Is there a great God who can solve data analysis problems? I was inspired by you early in the morning, and I also got up to practice and prepare for the exam, upstairs plus 10086, I'm with you too. Driven by Shen Qing, more and more people have joined the learning army, and the learning atmosphere in the live broadcast room is becoming increasingly strong. Upon seeing this, Shen Qing simply changed the name of the live broadcast room to Exam Public Self-Study Room. In front of the screen, watching the live broadcast, Lu Yi felt surprised. For a wealthy second dot generation like him, taking the civil service exam is not even a life option. Lu Yi rolled up his sleeves, revealing his fair and thin wrist as his fingertips tapped on the coffee table one by one. He didn't understand why Shen Qing suddenly wanted to take the civil service exam. In fact, many people do not know that being admitted as a civil servant can terminate their labor contracts on their own. So no one knows that Shen Qing took the civil service exam to break free from company control. Lu Yi didn't understand, and the company didn't react. Jia Yi's boss even thought that Shen Qing was showing off to attract traffic. Although Shen Qing has no capital behind him now, there is still a lot of discussion. Where there is a topic, there is traffic. Artists bring their own traffic, and the company is happy to see it succeed. If boss Jia Yi knew that Shen Qing wanted to terminate the contract through the civil service examination, he would probably be so angry that he would kill someone. These days, the Chiao family has been very lively. The family got into a heated argument over property division. Firstly, Chiao Tianen held a shareholder meeting with his official seal to dismiss the director. Later, 
Xiao's uncle accused the lawyer of tampering with the will, and finally, Xiao Yuha's parents sued the shareholder meeting for a resolution. And Xiao Yuha was busy tidying up the estate. The production team was sidelined by her, but no one dared to say anything. She ordered someone to throw away all the things related to Shen Qing in the manor, and destroy those that could not be thrown away. She wants to erase all traces of Shen Qing's life in the estate. Although everything they have today was earned from absorbing Shen Qing's blood, it still does not prevent Xiao Yuha from hating Shen Qing. She hates Shen Qing for taking over her parents and living here for more than 20 years, replacing her identity. Xiao Yuha's hatred towards Shen Qing has been deeply ingrained since childhood. Because of Shen Qing, she has a home and cannot go back. Because of Shen Qing, her parents can only come to see her secretly. Because of Shen Qing, she had to call the driver and nanny mom and dad. When she was sponsored to attend a prestigious school, she was ridiculed by people pointing at her nose. Xiao Yuha turned his head and looked at the photo of Shen Qing and the old man on the wall, then picked up scissors and cut off half of Shen Qing's head with a snap. When she saw Shen Qing's head fall to the ground, she chuckled and her eyes were paranoid and fierce. Miss, madam, please come over. It's urgent. Suddenly, the butler walked in and bowed to Xiao Yuha, taking her to the front hall. Xiao Yuha had just walked to the front hall when he heard the sound of something falling. What? The old man also made another will and gave 10% of the shares to Shen Qing. Xiao's mother's face turned white, changing from her usual elegance and composure, like a crazy woman throwing things and shouting loudly. Calm down, that will is in uncle's hands and hasn't been announced yet. Father Chiao took a puff of smoke, his eyes dim and his tone a bit irritable. Chiao Yuha had already heard a rough idea outside. She raised her eyebrows and quickly walked forward, saying, Why? What qualifications does she have as an outsider to inherit the family property? I am the grandniece of the old man, that share should be mine. Mom and Dad, this will cannot be counted. The old man has no idea that Shen Qing is not from the Chiao family Chiao's father rubbed his brows, and now they own 35% of the group's shares. If they can swallow Shen Qing's 10% and then purchase 5% from other shareholders at a high price, they will have control of the Chiao group and can fully control it. So, a 10% stake in Shen Qing Na is crucial. Chiao's mother suddenly thought of something and her voice suddenly rose. By the way, is it written in the will that 10% of the group's shares will be given to her niece Chiao Qing? If that's the case, then let's quickly have Yuha change her name to Chiao Qing. Anyway, now everyone knows that Yuha is the old master's niece and granddaughter Zhou's father bowed his head, took a deep breath of his cigarette and shook his head slowly. No, Shen Qing's ID number is written on his will. Chiao's mother remained silent, her happy expression instantly dissipated. The name can be changed, but the ID number is unique. Shen Qing can change his surname if he wants to inherit the inheritance, but Xiao Yuha can't change his ID number number. Xiao Yuha pushed open the window, took a deep breath, calmed himself down, and then said thoughtfully, Mom and Dad, if this will were to be announced, it would have been announced a long time ago. Uncle didn't announce it because he wanted to use it to restrain us, right? Because Shen Qing has a good relationship with Chiao Tianan, if Shen Qing transfers his shares to him, the Chiao group will fall into Chiao Tianan's hands. Uncle probably doesn't want to see such a thing happen after listening, Chiao's father looked at Chiao Yuha with some surprise and said, That's right, your uncle said that if we move out of Jordan Manor, he will rot this will in his stomach. Chiao's mother sneered and said, Jokes. He's dreaming. Yodan Manor is a symbol of the Chiao family's owner, you want to drive us away. Absolutely impossible. Chiao Yuha's brain is running rapidly, and she is thinking about countermeasures. In her opinion, the estate can be abandoned, but the 10% stake cannot be given up. Suddenly, she remembered something. In the morning, she heard the program team stationed in the estate mocking Shen Qing. They said Shen Qing used to walk horizontally in the entertainment industry, 
but now the company forces her to appear on programs, and she dare not even fart. Thinking of this, Xiao Yuha suddenly saw a bright light and came up with a plan. Mom and Dad, I suggest giving the estate to my uncle in exchange for the will he has in his hand. Xiao's mother rubbed herself up and said, Yuha, you're crazy. How could the estate give up? Xiao Yuha. Mom, the estate is just a matter of face, the shares are the real thing. We will withhold the will and then negotiate with Shen Qin to have her transfer the shares to us. Xiao's mother said, how could it be? We have already torn apart our face from her. Shen Qin, that little thing, has a bad temper and is stubborn. She cannot agree. As long as you control her, if she doesn't agree, you have to agree. Xiao Yuha chuckled lightly, with a cold gleam in his eyes. I have a plan for this. Chapter 8 Misconduct You are listening at NovelFull.audio Xiao Yuha said, Shen Qin has signed a contract with Jia Yi. As long as we acquire Jia Yi Media, Shen Qin will be in our hands. If you want to control someone, then become their boss. It has to be said that Xiao Yuha played this trick skillfully. Although acquiring Jiayi Media costs a lot of money, the Xiao phone couple can still afford it. There are two reasons why Xiao Yuha wants to acquire Jiayi. Firstly, she wants to hold on to Shen Qin, and secondly, she is interested in the cultural and entertainment industry in Hangzhou. Nowadays, most of the industries in Hangzhou are controlled by established families, making it difficult for her to get a share of the pie. Only the cultural and entertainment industry has not yet formed a climate and has great potential for development. Xiao's father listened to Xiao Yuha's analysis and his eyes showed a look of appreciation. He has a strong business acumen and truly deserves to be his daughter. Subsequently, Xiao Feng went to Jiayi Media, and Xiao's mother visited Xiao's uncle with Xiao Yuha. After coming out of his uncle's house, Xiao Yuha tightly grasped the paper bag, his mouth slightly curved, and his eyes and eyebrows were all calculating. She lifted her chin and instructed the butler, go and find a reliable lawyer. I want to give Shen Qing a big gift. In the live broadcast room, Shen Qing is still buried in reading. She had no idea that the old man had left her a will. If that 10% of the shares were discounted into RMB, it would directly make her rich in place, not to mention terminating the contract, and acquiring 10 Jiayi Media would not be a problem. Shen Qing Gang finished reading the criminal code, and every law and regulation in the book was printed in her mind. But Shen Qing believes that just remembering is not enough, and it is necessary to combine cases to achieve integration. So she looked at the live broadcast room and said, Do you have any legal questions you want to consult? I can answer everyone's questions. As soon as this statement was made, the audience in the live broadcast room couldn't sit still. Shen Qing, do you think Hammer's criminal law is a good idea? Don't neglect your job, go ahead and brush the industry test. It's not many months since the civil service exam, Shen Qing. Can you stop doing useless work? After reading a few law books, you consider yourself a lawyer. You really think you're just a piece of cake. The audience didn't know that Shen Qing had to take a self.study law degree, and there was a big argument in the barrage. Shen Qing looked at the barrage and gently said, I still need to read books. Without obtaining a law degree certificate, how can I apply for a civil servant? The audience in the live broadcast room was stunned and said, Dot. What? Do you still need to take the degree certificate exam now? Are you sure this is not a joke? The live broadcast room was fried. Sleeping slot, you haven't even obtained your degree certificate after working for a long time. You're laughing to death. You wouldn't want to take a law degree on your own before applying for civil service, would you? This is too outrageous. Although the law major has an advantage in taking the civil service exam, how could someone actually take a self.study law textbook to get on the job? It's only three months since you took the civil service exam, and you're taking both the law and civil service exams. You don't have enough time. Shen Qin, 
you can just leave the circle. The old handsome netizen couldn't sit still and made a very reassuring expression, hoo-hoo, it seems there's no need to perform upside-down defecation. Keep your integrity. Since the bet, the old handsome couldn't help feeling uneasy when he saw Shin Qing working so hard. He prayed every day that Shin Qing wouldn't pass the exam. All right now, he doesn't have to worry anymore. Shin Qing hasn't even received his degree certificate, so even if he goes to take the exam now, it won't be too late because the degree certificate for self.study usually takes a long time to be issued. Shen Qing pursed her lips, calmly took a sip of tea, and said slowly, I have applied to the Law School of National Chengchi University. Self-study students who pass the exam can apply for a degree certificate within a week. As he was speaking, Shen Qing's phone screen lit up and a message popped up above the screen. Hello dear candidate, welcome to apply to the Law School of National Chengchi University. Your application information has been stored in the database, and the printing time of your admission ticket is from July 15th to August 5th, 2023. The audience in the live broadcast room also saw the text message and widened their eyes in surprise. Oh my god! I didn't read it wrong. She actually applied to the Law School of National Chengchi University. Sleeping slot, that's a law school with an admission rate of only zero. 5%. I cried to death, she actually came here for real. Even if she passed the law and civil service exams, she even applied to the National University of Political Science and Technology. This is twice as difficult, isn't it? Eggs hitting stones are beyond our control, but she still wants to take the political science college entrance exam. It's just a pipe dream. The admission rate of the University of Political Science and Law was originally not high, and it was even more difficult to self.study for the university. The audience in the live broadcast room felt that if Shen Qing were to prepare for the civil service exam as a French student, he would be able to give it a try. But the law school she applied to is actually National Chengchi University. It's even harder to take the college entrance exam than to take the civil service exam. Isn't she digging a pit for herself? Seeing this, the netizen Lao Shui felt even more at ease. He posted a barrage saying, It's done, there's no need to worry. Shen Qing found it funny to see the reactions of netizens. For ordinary people, the difficulty may be very high. But as long as she reads the book once, the content is engraved in her mind. This kind of talent is simply a killer when used in exams. Law is a purely liberal arts subject, and for her, taking the law exam is extremely advantageous. Feeling a bit tired from reading, Shen Qing stood up and stretched lazily, then went to the pigsty. Learning emphasizes a balance between work and rest, so she takes advantage of doing agricultural work to unblock her muscles and bones. Shen Qing scooped two tablespoons of wheat bran into the trough and poured half a bucket of swill. The piglet saw something to eat and rushed to the trough to cook. Snoring, snoring, babbling. The little pigs ate very sweetly. Watching the little pig eating round and plump, Shen Qing felt a great sense of achievement. These little pigs were personally delivered by her, and in just one month, they had grown into a pink and chubby appearance. She feels that her current life is very fulfilling and fulfilling. If she didn't have that sales contract, she could grow vegetables, raise pigs, read books, and live a leisurely and contented life. Ha! Huh. Sister Shen Qing, everyone really likes watching you do farm work. Zhang Wei found that as long as Shen Qing worked hard, the live broadcast room became very popular. Shen Qing glanced and saw that the popularity of the live broadcast room was rising like riding a rocket. Shen Qing sighed, but unfortunately she didn't want to mix in anymore. Whether the popularity of the live broadcast room was high or not was no longer important to her. In the pigsty, piglets crowded around the trough to grab food. A little piglet was squeezed and fell on all fours, lying on the ground humming. Shen Qing glanced and caught a glimpse of the indescribable part between the legs of the piglet. Hmm. Has the little lychee grown so big? She bent down and reached out to grab it, 
pulling away the pig's messy hind legs and looking fiercely. Mom, I saw something unclean, I need to go wash my eyes. What a shame. Mosaic. Mosaic. Piggy also needs privacy. Ong it seems to be older than my boyfriend's. Hmm upstairs, would you like to consider changing your boyfriend? Sleeping slot. What spicy eyes. Why is Shin Ching still staring at me? I'm not thinking of a man, right? I'm really ignorant upstairs. I'm thinking about eating pigs. Only pigs that have been stirred up can eat them. The live broadcast room was noisy, but Shin Ching's lips showed a relieved smile. The little pig has grown up, it's time to lay eggs. Just as she was looking for a tool like a pig, a woman's roar suddenly came from the next wall, mixed with the sound of throwing things. Shen Qing stretched his head and found that it was the second aunt next door who was beating up the second uncle. Aunt Air waved her broom and roared, You shameless spendthrift man, you stole my money and even gave it to a man. Upon hearing this, Shen Qing immediately perked up her ears and ate the melon. What? Did Uncle Air cheat? Is the mistress still a man? Chapter 9 the one who should report to the police is us. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Netizens in the live broadcast room also raised their ears when they heard such explosive content. Shen Qing tiptoed to the bottom of the wall and then pressed her ear against it. The sound of pots, bowls, ladles, and pots falling could be heard next door. It seems that Aunt Air is abusing Uncle Air at home. Air Auntie is a notorious shrewd household in the village, and she is not soft when it comes to cleaning up her husband. Uncle Air, who had a swollen face and a blue nose, was running wildly in the yard. As he ran, he shouted, Wife, I've already said no, why are you only half obedient? The yard was filled with flying chickens and dogs, and the curses were deafening. Auntie Air shouted with a broken gong like voice. What the fuck do you have to say? Even if you don't make money, why don't you sneak out without me and give it to a man? I ruined you his mother today. Seeing his wife really have a murderous heart, Uncle Air's face turned red with anxiety and he said without hesitation, It's that Han Dao, he. He wants 100,000 yuan when he opens his mouth. Upon hearing this, Auntie Air couldn't help but exclaim, What? He still needs 100,000 yuan. He's got diamonds in his asshole. Upon hearing this, Shen Qing was struck by lightning. Oh my, second uncle has an affair with Director Han. Shen Qing looked contemptuous and said, dishonest and vulgar. Director Han is really a disaster. Zhang Wei beside him also nodded frantically, yes, yes, whether it's a pig or a man, he doesn't refuse anything. The audience in the live broadcast room is also eating melons. What are they saying? Why can't I understand, he he, I understand, but I won't tell you. Shoo. This is the world of adults, children go home to do homework. Is Han Dao the bald one? He played quite well. Shen Qing felt that eavesdropping was not satisfying, so he decided to step on a brick and lie on the wall of the courtyard stretching his head out to watch the excitement. The neighboring yard was filled with smoke and smoke, and the floor was covered in broken furniture. The big yellow dog hid in a corner with its tail between its legs, trembling with fear. The swollen second uncle covered his head and ran wildly, No. No. Wife, listen to me finish speaking. Yes. It was Director Han who asked us to pay 100,000 yuan for advertising sponsorship before helping us sell peaches in the live broadcast room. Upon hearing this, Shen Qing couldn't help but frown and say, What advertising fee? What sells peaches? Shen Qing thinks it's a bit strange. As far as she knows, she hasn't even solicited sponsorships here, so where did she get the advertising space? So Shen Qing jumped over the wall and said, it's a bit strange. Auntie, please don't hit me yet and let Uncle finish speaking. Uncle Air saw Shen Qing as if he had seen a savior. He hurriedly hid behind Shen Qing and curled up his head, like a quail ravaged by a storm. 
With Uncle Er's intermittent narration, Shen Qin finally understood the truth behind the matter. It turns out that this year's peach trees on the mountain have a daifengshu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables, and the output is several times that of previous years, but few people have bought them. Watching the peaches fail to sell and rot on the trees, the worries of the old village chief and villagers condensed into a big mountain. In order to make a living for the village, the old village chief had to seek help from Director Han. Because live streaming sales are very popular now, the village chief wants Han to help promote the peaches in Shuiwa village in the live broadcast room. As a result, Director Han demanded an advertising sponsorship fee of 100,000 yuan. At first, the old village chief did not agree, but after discussing with the villagers, he felt that now the only way to go is through live streaming sales. Because the rainy season is about to enter, peaches cannot be sold anymore, and once they are full of rainwater, they will not be sweet anymore. So in order to sell the peaches, the villagers gritted their teeth and determined to raise the sponsorship fee of 100,000 yuan. Zhang Wei shook his head when he heard this. No, you have been cheated. Now the live broadcast content is the the final say of Sister Shen Qing. That Han Dao is cheating you. Shen Qing's face darkened. There was no advertising space on her end, and the advertising investors were all on Xiao Yuha's side. It must be Han Dao who thinks rural people are easy to deceive, so he wants to swallow this money and casually promote it in the live broadcast room. This is a blatant fraud. Shen Qing's fist hardened and his knuckles creaked. Uncle Er, have you already given him all the money? Uncle Er hesitated and said, Here. Here it is. Shen Qing sneered, In this case, the charge is established. Let's pack him up. At this moment, Han Dao was eating and drinking at the old village chief's house. The table was filled with food, even more abundant than the New Year's Eve dinner. The old village chief poured wine and vegetables for Director Han, with a pleasing smile on his face, saying, You still have to put a lot of effort into selling peaches. Don't worry, the promotion is definitely in place, Han Dao smiled, with a hint of disdain in his eyes. Han Dao was eating and drinking, but his eyes were fixed on Xue Ting, the daughter of the village chief. Xue Ting has just turned 17 years old this year, with a beautiful face and a graceful figure. She looks very beautiful. Han looked up and down at Xue Ting, then looked at her lewdly and said, Sister, do you want to become a big star? You have more money than that Shen Qing. In fact, he didn't intend to flatter Xue Ting either, he just wanted to trick someone into going to bed and having fun for two days first. Xue Ting felt a bit embarrassed and lowered her head, saying, I. I don't want to, and besides, I can't compare myself to Sister Shen Qing. She's beautiful and capable, she knows everything. Hey, that's not right. How can a girl underestimate herself? Think about it, if you become a big star, how many people will compete to buy a peach for the village? Han Dao is very good at grasping people's thoughts, and the latter half of this sentence did indeed hit Xue Ting's heart. Seeing Xue Ting still hesitating, Han Dao resorted to another fierce move. Now there is only one trainee spot left in our company, it's a good chance not to come again. After finishing speaking, Director Han patted Xue Ting's little hand and said, Sister, come to me tonight and I'll tell you about the contract. Suddenly, a shout came from the door. Tell me about your his mother contract. Go to the bureau and tell me. A group of angry villagers appeared behind Director Han. Han turned his head and was about to open his mouth to speak, but the villager raised his fist and threw it at him, knocking him to the ground. The old village chief was still in the dark. When he saw the villagers attacking Han Dao, he quickly stopped him and said, What are you doing? He is the savior of our village. How can you hit him? Oh, village chief, we've all been deceived by him. Uncle Er quickly pulled the old village chief aside and explained to him. On the other side, Han covered his face and grinned in pain, What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you still hitting people? Villagers. You're the one who beat us. 
scammer. Come to our village to cheat on food, drink, and money. After speaking, the villagers rushed forward and beat Han Dao to tears and howls. Han Dao tugged at his throat and said, You guys. How dare you hit me? I, I want to call the police. Shen Qing walked out of the crowd with a cold gleam in his eyes and said, Call the police. It's us who should call the police. Chapter 10 You have committed the crime of embezzlement of duty. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Shen Qing looked directly at Han Dao and said, To be honest, did you cheat the villagers out of 100,000 yuan? Upon hearing this, Han Dao felt instantly guilty, but then he realized that these people had little knowledge and should be able to deceive them. So he boldly shouted, That money is for advertising. It's for advertising, how can I say I cheated? Shen Qingzhao had anticipated that Director Han would be insincere, and she sneered. There's nothing wrong with paying advertising fees for advertising, but this fee should also be remitted to the company, not to you. Director Han, you have taken advantage of your position and used deceptive means to demand property in the name of the company, an illegally occupied company property. You have committed the crime of embezzlement of your position. According to the criminal law, due to the large amount involved, you should be sentenced to fixed term imprisonment of no more than three years or detention, and also find the words were resounding and powerful, and every sentence made a resounding sound, shaking Han Dao's legs. He thought the villagers didn't understand anything and just fooled them over, but he didn't expect to be exposed directly by Shen Qing. Director Han panicked, his legs softened and he collapsed to the ground. I, I, I. I'll give you 200,000 yuan. This matter is settled, don't say anything. It's late. Shen Qing chuckled, her eyes clear and bright. She tilted her body to make way for a gap. Behind her was Zhang Wei, carrying a camera, with a dark lens facing director Han. The audience in the live broadcast room has heard clearly and watched clearly. Sleeping trough. This Han Dao is really not something, it's the hard-earned money of the farmer uncle. I checked online and Shen Qin was right. Director Han did indeed commit the crime of embezzlement. Sure, Shen Qingzhen has two brushes. He didn't read books for free. Sleeping trough, the light of the righteous path shines on the earth, Shen Qing is so handsome. Through this incident, netizens liking for Shen Qing skyrocketed, and they turned to fans one after another, automatically forwarding videos of Han Dao scamming money. The news spread more and more widely. Soon, several black armored vehicles arrived in the province and took Director Han away for investigation and interrogation. At this point, Shuiwa village finally regained its previous calmness. However, although Shen Qing helped the villagers recover their hard-earned money, the real problem has not been solved. The peaches on the mountain are already ripe and will soon enter the rainy season. If the peaches are not sold again, they will really rot on the trees. The atmosphere in the whole village is still very dull. The old village chief was in a hurry, his eyebrows twisted to the point where he could trap a mosquito. Even the big yellow dog at the entrance of the village was drooping its tail and listless. Many villagers came to Shinchin for help, hoping to sell peaches through live streaming. Looking at the faces filled with suffering before her, Shinchin recalled when she first arrived, the villagers enthusiastically taught her how to raise pigs, distinguish poisonous weeds, and farm. She has tasted Jiang's melons, loose pears, and even drank sour fruit wine from the neighboring uncle's house. With this in mind, Shen Qing decided to put aside his studies and help the villagers sell peaches first. Shen Qing put the books and exam papers in the drawer, borrowed Zhang Wei's tablet, and started researching live streaming sales. The old village chief felt guilty when he saw Shen Qing pushing his studies aside. He felt that he had delayed the child's studies and lowered his head without saying a word. Shen Qing noticed something unusual about the old village chief and comforted her, saying, It's okay, village chief. Things are important and urgent. I still have a long way to go before the exam. In fact, 
she will be taking the self.study law exam in a month, and time is very tight. Looking at Shin Qing's dark circles under his eyes, the old village chief rubbed his hands anxiously. He knew that Shin Qing must have been studying live broadcasts during the day and staying up late reading books at night. But there's really no other way, Shin Qing is now the hope of the whole village. The next morning, the old village chief and other villagers brought fresh peaches as samples for the live broadcast room. The rouge peaches in Shuiwa village are large in size, pink in color, and have thin and juicy skin. As soon as the teeth touched the peach skin, honey-like peach juice overflowed. The peach has a rich flavor and a pleasant fragrance, which Shin Qing couldn't help but praise. She thinks that the peaches in Shuiwa village just lack popularity. If they are promoted well, they should be able to sell well. Since its launch, her live streaming room has had good traffic, so selling a peach shouldn't be a problem. After preparing for a period of time, Shen Qing started broadcasting. However, to her surprise, today's live broadcast room was surprisingly cold, and after waiting for a long time, no one came in. Looking at the empty live broadcast room, Shen Qing frowned. Didn't she connect to the internet? Just as she was about to check the internet, Zhang Wei hurriedly ran in and said, It's over. It's over. Sister Shen Qing. We can't sell this peach anymore. Shen Qing turned her head to look at him, puzzled and said, Hmm. Zhang Wei looked impatient and pointed to his phone, Sister. Look. Shen Qing squinted his eyes and looked over. Okay. It turns out that Xiao Yuha has started broadcasting. She claims to distribute a welfare of 100 million yuan in the live broadcast room in order to create a buzz. And it's a 24.hour uninterrupted red envelope. Good guy, who can withstand this? Under the temptation of money, netizens flock to Xiao Yuha's live broadcast room. So now not only does Shen Qing lack traffic, but other people's live streaming rooms also lack popularity. In Xiao Yuha's live broadcast, the champs. Elis AES Grand Ballroom is magnificent, with crystal towers stacked with champagne glasses shining brightly. Everywhere luxurious and extravagant, the expenses are not cheap. The ball was crowded with celebrities, and the people who came and went were all influential figures from Hangzhou. Xiao Yuha was wearing a pearl white dress, with a swan-like slender neck adorned with an expensive silver crystal necklace, and the hem adorned with sparkling fine diamond pearls. Xiao Yuha's graceful figure, noble and elegant, is always admired wherever she goes. This ball is her first appearance since returning to the Xiao family. Many people thought that Xiao Yuha, who was wandering outside, couldn't make it to the stage. They didn't expect her to be so elegant, beautiful, and confident. The Chiao family also dressed up to attend. Chiao's father held Chiao Yuha's arm and took good care of her, treating her like a precious treasure. Chiao's mother's eyes were filled with love, and her face was filled with pride. Upon seeing this scene, Shen Qing, who was peeking at the screen, felt a tightness in her chest, a faint pain in the pinholes on her arms, and a slight itching. Sister Shen Qing, the popularity of their live broadcast room has skyrocketed to 100 million. Zhang Wei was a little envious and angrily nibbled on a peach. With the blessing of money, Chiao Yuha's live broadcast only lasted for an hour, and the popularity of the live broadcast room reached 100 million, jumping to the top of the live broadcast list. Shen Qing scratched her itchy arm and sneered, It's okay, the higher the popularity of Chiao Yuha, the better. The more popular she is, the more advantageous it will be for us. Zhang Wei didn't understand, so he nibbled on his peach and said, What? Why, people have all gone to her place. What benefits can we have? Shen Qing hugged her chest with both hands and raised a confident curve at the corner of her mouth. Ah Wei, have you ever heard an idiom? Zhang Wei, who was buried in his peach, suddenly lifted his head and said, What idiom? The grass boat borrows an arrow, said four words from Shen Qing's beautiful thin lips at first, Zhang Wei's mind didn't turn around, but then he suddenly realized. He opened his mouth wide and looked at Shen Qing, you. 
You mean it.